Hello friends, welcome to GCK Daily. It's another heartwarming edition and we trust the Lord that you will be refreshed. Have you ever heard the story behind the balm of Gilead? Well, I'll tell you. Gilead was a city famous for its herbs and spices. They mixed herbs and spices and applied it to cuts and wounds for healing. This is what everybody used. It was good, but it was never enough, never sufficient. They always needed something more permanent. <laughs> That's a very cool story, Ella. Now you see, friends, we always need something higher, mm -hmm. something greater to fix the human problem, the problem of sickness and death and disease. Jesus is our balm in Gilead. So today on GCK Daily, Pastor Kumi takes us on a journey to experience the healing and transforming power of Jesus. Here's Pastor Kumi. Hey, look at this verse of scripture, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, reading from verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. When Christ comes to you, he comes in the power of the Holy Ghost. And that power of the Holy Ghost will destroy every work of the devil in your life. Tonight. I say tonight. It says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth of the Holy Ghost and with power. Now, every anointing that anyone receives from the Father has a purpose. When Moses received the anointing, he had a purpose, and Joshua had a purpose, and Elijah or Elisha had a purpose, and when David was anointed, it had a purpose. When Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power, he had a purpose and that purpose is to do something in your life in my life in my family in all the people around me what's the purpose it says who went about doing good he went about doing good and as you come across Jesus tonight he will do good in your life he went about doing good. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Because he has not changed, he went about doing good and is going about tonight. He will get to you there. As we mentioned the name of Jesus, he willed you. What he went about doing at that time, he will do it tonight in your life. What was he doing? Healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. He was anointed of the Holy Ghost. Then he went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. You see here tonight? You see going around to get you tonight? You see going to heal you tonight? That's what he has always done. And what he has always done, he will do in your life. I remember one brother his name joseph he had had this problem for 10 long years some people will say he had the problem for 10 good years uh -uh. he had the problem for 10 bad terrible painful years but as he came like you have come tonight and then Jesus touched him like he will touch you tonight. Yeah. Let me invite him to tell you the story by himself. Joseph, thank you. Come. Thank you, Daddy Kumi, for giving me this opportunity to share my testimony. My name is Joseph Jato Longji. I'm so grateful for the GCK that have been going on. I key into the last 
triumphant power that comes up in Ondo State. And I was having a challenge of about 10 years. I've been to the doctor and he said it's prostate enlargement. I've been urinating more than 13 times, more than 10 times in the night. But on the 25th, the first day of the crusade, I listened through satellite in Jaws, Pastor Daddy Kumuyi said we should put our hand on where your hand and the problem. Once we mention the name of Jesus, your problem will clear out of the way. I did that and went home throughout that night. I couldn't go out for urination. I couldn't do anything. But at five o'clock, I wake up, I urinate. Throughout the day, there is no urination. From that day up to this moment, I've not been having that challenge again. I'm no longer urinating frequently as before. I'm so grateful to God for this global crusade with Kumuyi. My prayer for Pastor W.F. Kumuyi is that he will keep on uh, carrying on this global crusade so that others will also be able to benefit from this. Amen. What God did for him and for many others tonight, he will do for you. Long-standing problem will vanish away. Pain, sickness, suffering by the touch of Jesus Christ through his gracious goodness, healing everyone with fatal sicknesses. The Lord will do it for you tonight. Amen. So many people have questions. Is there any hope? What if I told you I found all the answers to all the questions you've been asking all your life? Welcome to the amazing story of God, the epic story of creation. Welcome to the most inspiring love story ever told, the most glorious season of your existence. Welcome to power and victory, to grace and truth. Welcome to love, salvation, redemption, and healing. Welcome to GCK Daily with Dr. W.F. Kamui, beginning this September on the Now Network or on LifeZone TV and on Faith TV. God will put a smile on your face. Prepare for your visitation now. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. The power and the love of Jesus is always there for you, seeking to save you, to heal and deliver you from every oppression of human frailty. We are to come boldly into God's presence to obtain help in our time of need. However, before you can come before the throne of grace, you have to believe Jesus is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. This is your moment. Just raise up the hand wherever you are. And as our salvation comes, as many as received him, to them he gave the power, the chance, the privilege to become a son, a daughter of God. Even to them that believed, on his name you raise up your hand you indicate i believe i believe christ died for me i believe christ brought salvation to me i believe the grace of god that covers everyone is available for me now if you raise up your hand Please stand up so I can pray directly for you. You're raising up your hand. You say, yes, I want that salvation. I want that forgiveness. I want that newness of life from the Lord. And I want to have it from the hands of Jesus who has brought salvation for me. Stand up wherever you are. That salvation is coming to you right now. Amen. 
Keep on raising up your hand as we stand up. We're praying together, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come on behalf of everyone indicating they want your salvation now. They want your forgiveness now. They want your freedom now. And they want that eternal life to come to them now as they turn from their sins. And they turn to you to save them. I pray your salvation will come to them now in Jesus' name. And I pray for everyone that has got a bit of your grace, that fuller grace, greater grace, will come to everyone now in Jesus' name. And I pray that this grace that appears to all these who are standing now, I pray it will bring real salvation, transformation of life, change of life to everyone immediately, instantaneously now in Jesus' name. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will be a witness with every heart that now the are the children of God. Thank you for the answer. Thank you for the salvation. In Jesus name we pray. We are praying now. Father in Jesus name we know you are the God of all power. The God of all might. With you all things are possible. And Lord, all these are expectant. They want your miracle touch. And I pray your miracle touch will come upon everyone in Jesus' name. Whatever the name of their sickness, whatever the name of their disease, Lord, we know the name of the problem doesn't matter. It's the name of Jesus that matters. And I pronounce that name of Jesus against your problem, against your sickness, against your deformity, against the impossibility of your life. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Lord, we know that your name is above every other name. And whatever the name of the predicament or pain or whatever, we pray that that name of Jesus will subdue everything now in Jesus' name. And I proclaim healing to everyone. Deliverance to everyone freedom to everyone be healed be delivered in jesus name lord we thank you because we know you have answered that name cannot fail and i pray it be confirmed in your life right now in jesus mighty name i pray it is done i said it is done i am the god that he left thee i am the lord your healing i sent my word and i heal your disease i am the lord your he this is god's word i am the god that he led me i am the lord your he and i sent my word and i heal your disease i am the lord your he Exodus 15, verse 26. God said, I am the God that healeth thee. And in Psalm 107, verse 20, he sent his word and healed us. This conference is all about a divine touch.
when God touches you, He will heal you. If Jesus walked into this place tonight and touched you, no one would doubt that you would be healed. The same power is in His Word. His Word and His name are more powerful than cancer, heart disease, or any disease that we can name tonight. Yes, more powerful than COVID. So we're going to put His Word on our lips tonight and sing His Word back to Him. The Bible says God's Word will not return void, but it will accomplish the purpose for which it is sent. He sent His Word and healed us. So let's sing, You are the God that healeth me. Let His healing come as we sing. You are the God that healeth me. You are the Lord. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. You sent your word. And you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Sing it. You are the God. You are the God. That he left me. You are the Lord. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the global crusade with Kumi. We believe that you've experienced Christ's surpassing love for you and his willingness to guide you, bless you, and be with you all the days of your life. He's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, and you can depend on him. We are really excited to further connect you and your family. The easiest way to communicate with us is through our online connection card at gckhq.org slash connect. While there, you can leave us a message about your needs you may have, grab helpful resources to help you with your next step in your journey with Christ, and please let us know how we can pray for you. We love you. God loves you. Thank, Thank you. you.